I'm going to be doing this, but I'm doing a quote unquote or pretty much an interview with the main leader of Foxtrot team. I'm just going to call him Fox for short. Uh, welcome, by the way. Um, do you want to do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just here to <laughs> So my first question is, um, what made you make the Foxtrot team? Every other Alpha and Planetside 2 that I tried to join or was a part of back when I started playing on console was mm -hmm. never how I wanted to play. So mm -hmm. solution to that was to make an outfit my own and play how I wanted to play. Hmm. So, when did you start up the Foxtrot team? October 21st, 2017. That's really far away, god. I didn't even know about Planetside 2 at that time. Yeah, it was founded with, I think, six main or founding members. Huh. None of them are in FDOT anymore, however. Ah. Uh, that's upsetting. So, yeah. you told us once in the training that in... 65 days you're going to be going to the Air Force. Sorry about that. We're supposed to get our stuff mailed from the school today. Alright, um... Where's my phone? God dang it. I actually kind of fear that this would have happened. Ow. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to be joining the Air Force, if I yeah, heard you yeah. correctly. So, mm -hmm. what made you what made you think about doing that? Like a family member or something, or do you not want to say? It's a good career. It's a good career. That's about it. It's a good career. Yeah. Um, I was planning on doing that, but I have a vision problem, so I can't do stuff like that, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but, you know. So what is your favorite class to use in play aside? Oh my god, engineer. Play along. Engineer? Why is that? Because the default uh, cooldown for the shield regen is a second short compared to all other classes. Coupled out with survivalist and advanced shield capacitator, you can get your shield back in like maybe three seconds. Uh, and that's fine. And you I'm sorry, I don't know my neighborhood. Say again? You have infinite ammo with it too. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's true. And grenades. Um, so, for people that don't understand or know what the Foxtrot team is, would you like to explain to them? Yeah, we'll Let me go ahead and read the recruitment message that I sent, because it's like... It's kind of hard to tell what the outfit is until you actually join or try it out. Nah. Uh, oh. It was just, I'm, if you didn't know, I'm actually making an uh, entire series with the Foxtrot team. I have two videos, or this is going to be the third one, but so far I've already made two, so. Uh, First one actually got good reviews, at least by my standards. Alright, here we go, here we go, I'm just going to read off the fucking poster. The Foxtrot is an excellent organized outfit that was founded to help new players through their planet side journey. We welcome all players regardless of skill, as long as you are willing to play as part of a team, you are welcome to join. If you're looking to learn more about the Foxtrots, feel free to check out our website at ps2foxtrots.wb.com. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I've actually put down the link a few times in my videos, um, in the description and stuff to promote it. So, you know. Yeah, Let's see. Yeah. Um, now, a lot of time you've gotten upset with the crew on Foxtrot. Um, now, why is that? Repeat. And I can repeat. send this to them. You know, I mean, to repeat. Of course. Huh? Repeat, repeat the question. Oh, okay. Um, I was saying how a lot of the time you've gone upset with the Foxtrot team. Why is that? Well, it's not necessarily being upset. It's more of... We used to play extremely casual, and we used to never do this competitive play. It's not so much... Mm, yeah, it's just that change of mood is going to take a transition period to get used to, because before, I'm not going to lie, FTT was kind of like a Zerg fit. We would set up a team waypoint and say, everybody, bodies, go. Now mm -hmm. we're starting to have to have good squad leads. We're actually being led by our squad leaders, which is amazing. 
Mm -hmm. um, because really it fun. used to be how I would just say, hey, platoon, go, blah. And that never really worked out too well when we want to actually play, you know, a little more competitive. And actually mm -hmm. value our numbers and value our members and try and make the most out of our squad. Now that we're doing that, it's just not, it's not disappointment or upsetting or whatever word you use. It's more of, it's going to take time to transition. And it's mm -hmm. just, we have to get people in that mood now. We're still going to be playing casual, but we are going to turn to a more competitive outfit. As okay. the description of the outfit is listed in game as competitive. Yeah, I understand. And I joined in a uh, interesting time of a transition period. But I, I like the competitive mode. It's more, you know, it, make, it reminds me more of the military as well, as in with Delta Squad and your leaders and stuff. And it's really fun to hear, you know, Alpha Squad take this, do this, and this. It's really fun to hear that. Mm -hmm. So, I, especially it's how... It's the like only plant side I've seen. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, especially how um, through my entire life I've been into military, so this is kind of really cool to me, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, next one, my next question is: Is it tough being a leader? Like, to, you know, to either from you know before when you started it to now, like. Ew, you know. Um, I don't want to say it's it's kind of difficult, but it's kind of not. Some of the shit you pick up. Sorry if I'm cursing. Um, yeah, some of the stuff you, you pick curse. up. You pick up like down the road. Like when I started out, FTOT was not the first outfit I started up. I mm. was like fucking fourteen, something like that. I forgot how old I was when I started up my first outfit in Plant Side Two. I was a fucking prick little kid who was <laughs> like, just like, oh my god, I was a dick. Um, <laughs> And over time, you learn to hone your skills when it comes to being a leader, and you get much, much more effective at it. Um, mm. It's not hard. It's more like it's practice. It's like everything in life, everything in games. If you want to get better at it, you got to practice. That's mm. really all it is, but you do have to have a good amount of time or free time to be a leader, and you have to know how to delegate. That's like the biggest thing is let other people do some of the work, just delegation. And yeah. overall, just time. It takes time to get good at things, including leading. Yeah. Some people are naturally talented, but others just have to really put some effort into it. And even then, it's good to put effort in things because in the end, it might work out for you and it feels amazing. You know? Hmm. <laughs> um, so my final question here, uh, well, second to final, I have one more that came up in my mind. Um, do you think anybody might look up to you as a leader or like, you know, might want to try to take your place one day or something? I hope. Kind of, to an extent. Because when I leave off to the Air Force, I'm going to leave three leaders in charge of the outfit. And is leadership is not a position that is... Well, mm, no, no, kind of is. Um, so I need to find leaders of the outfit before I go so they can take the ropes while I am gone. Mm-hmm. Other than that, though, I'm gonna, not going to be leaving anytime soon. Like, yeah. permanently. Yeah. Temporarily, Temporarily, yeah, but permanently, no. Yeah, don't you have to stay in the military for like six months or something? Or I don't, I don't know how long. I forgot. Basic training for the Air Force, I believe, was like eight and a half weeks, and my tech school or A school, or whatever you want to call it, is around 52 days. Mm. Um, I believe somewhere down tech school, if I'm not mistaken, I might have access to my PlayStation. I may, may not. Doesn't matter though, not that long. Yeah. Um. So the final question that I don't have written down here, so I'm not gonna, you know, it's gonna be my own words, I guess. Do you have anything to say to like anybody that wants to start their own outfit, or anybody that wants to be a leader or something, like any inspirational stuff, mm -hmm. anything at all? Damn, Damn. You think? <laughs> Take your time, man. Honestly, when it comes to starting an outfit, starting an outfit is hard. Like, coming from the bottom up, that shit is difficult. Yeah. I, got, I don't really know. Like, it's just, you gotta persevere. That's like, well, let's really say, the um, not starting an outfit in general, like, let's say just, um, 
just want to be a leader to something. Do you have anything inspirational, especially have you been... Leader? leader? Yeah. yeah. Fucking have Fucking confidence. Have Honestly, just have confidence. If you show a lack of confidence, your squad mates are, gonna sh are going to have a lack of confidence in you. Show confidence. And if you fuck up, learn from your fuck up and change it. The next time you don't make the same fuck up. Trial and error. Rinse and repeat. Well, that's, that's actually really good. And that can also be played in for, you know, just normal life as well. It doesn't especially have to mean, Every, you know, yeah. being here. No, not just in plants, I do. Definitely. Yeah. Confidence yeah. is applicable in almost every aspect of life. Well, that's all the questions I can think of, and this is a short, you know, video and stuff, but it was a fun one. Um, I would like to thank you for this. I know mm -hmm. that you're busy at times. So. Oh, with no. quarantine, dude. Oh my god. It's easy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> with quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's a. Uh, you know, while we're on that topic, you know, there was a uh, protest to stop, like, people from going outside. <laughs> Emphasis on protest. Mm -hmm. There was, like, thousands of people outside. I wonder how fast that spread. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I would like to thank you for being here and doing this with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to say at all before I stop recording? Um, no, no, not really. I'm good. Uh, well, I will see you either one day throughout the week if I get on or Saturday during the uh -huh. operation. By the way, I did watch those videos and I used some of those tips in our operation last night. It helped out a lot. It helped out so much. I'm gonna try and find some videos that work on positioning. That's a big one that we need to work on. Yeah, I realize that. Especially how, uh, if you didn't know, um, uh, one platoon, one sp small squad of uh, medics got ran over by a buggy. And I was right in front of it. <laughs> and it just tore right through them, dude. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I called out, I was like, yo, we need some healers over here. Like, those were the medics. <laughs> it was bad. Oh my God. We need yeah. a medic. That was the medic! The medic! <laughs> well, oh, like crap, I like, again, I'd like to thank you for this, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Alright, hope to see you there Thanks. as well. See you, man. See you. Thank you for this.